Stay tuned. At the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can win one of these awesome loot crates from lootcrate.com. This is Film Masters, and on this episode, I'm gonna show you a quick hot tip in how to edit sound from Premiere Pro CC, also happens in uh, CS6, um, and using Audition. So I've got a basic edit on the timeline, as you can see, I'll do a little scrub through. I'm Michael Frudenberg, and this is Film Masters. So that's, uh, was taken last year when I was uh, in uh, well, at ILM in San Francisco, and I was just playing around with a camera. I uh, haven't edited any of that footage. I don't have time at the moment, but I will get to it. However, I'm gonna show you how to change the sound. So I've got a clip here. Um, so if I scrub through, I can choose any parts of these uh, if I like, but I'm gonna select this one here. I'm gonna right click on it and come up to this here. It says edit clip in Adobe Audition. So let's select that and we'll open up and you'll see it automatically puts our sound file from the video in there. It doesn't have any video um, displays there. So all we're doing is editing the sound. So I'll listen into this. Hi, I'm Michael Frudenberg and this is Film Masters. So let's say for example, I wanted to do some more professional uh, sound removal. Um, I can start to try and remove some of the noise and stuff like that. This is just simply a quick hot tip on how to edit the sound file and get it back into a Premiere Pro. So all we need to do uh, here is simply, let's do a quick change. I'm gonna to go to time and pitch and stretch and pitch. Um, I'm gonna change, well the stretches is 100%. Now, if you're gonna be playing around with this particular plugin, obviously on a video clip, as soon as I start mucking around with the stretch size, it will adjust the size outside of the video scope. It's not what we want, so I'll leave that at 100%. I'm just gonna change it so it sounds a little bit creepy. So let's play. Today's episode one. Yeah, it's a bit like a demon. Let's select apply. Now to get that into Premiere Pro, it's very simple. Just press Control S to save it or simply go up to file and select save. I've already saved it. So if I jump back into Premiere Pro, you'll see it automatically updates. You'll also see over on the left-hand side, there's an audio extract file on the left-hand side. So if I go back to the beginning. Hi, I'm Michael Frudenberg and this is Film And that is how simple it is to use Adobe Premiere Pro with Audition between each other. And obviously I can do the same thing with the next clip and so forth, and it will jump in and straight away we've got a new extract file. And for example, I could play with that and then save it in here. So you can keep on going through your whole track that way. Um, it's more of a professional way if you're wanting to use more features and plugins of Adobe Audition, especially if you've got other plugins sitting in there. So that is the hot tip for today. I just wanted to do a quick video showing you how I edit my sound from Premiere Pro into Audition and back again. If you want to win a Loot Crate, which is a box full of geeky goodness, my gift to you for all of your support. Just like and comment on any video on this channel. A Loot Crate will be given away once a month. And make sure you're a subscriber so you don't miss out. Winners announced at the end of all new videos uploaded. To make sure you don't miss out, turn on the notification icon. Put a tick in the box to receive all notifications and select save. The more comments, the more chances you have to win. Good luck and thanks for watching. Here's last month's winner from LootCrate.com. If you are the winner, Private message me by going to the about in my homepage, send a message and put in the following details. Your name, postal address, shirt size in small, medium or large. <laughs>